Okay guys, we have this board in here today. This is an Xbox Series S main board. Uh, it's in for an HDMI uh, replacement, but uh, it turns out the customer tried doing it themselves. And I don't know if you can see there, I'll show you on the microscope view. It's not looking good and we have to repair, I think eight or nine traces. So let's take a look. That's where the port goes. You can see it's missing. I'll show you under the scope view what the damage looks like. Yeah, check that out. So first thing we're gonna do, uh, clean up the anchor points and prepare those for the new uh, HDMI port. And then we're going to get rid of all these loose traces, see where they go. And then what we're going to do actually is install the port and then I'll run traces to each of the corresponding pins. And let's get started on the repair. All right, so we're gonna start from the reverse side. And we're going to apply some new solder to these points. See how they, those two have gone completely flat. Now if we switch back to the top side of the board, you'll we'll see that um, solder made its way through. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And now, I'm going to go back to this side of the board. This is going to make it uh, easy to pull all the solder out of each of these anchor points. Just gotta finish up with this pad here. Stubborn one, no problem. So before I put the new port in, just get rid of all these loose traces. So we have to actually repair 14 traces. Cool. All right. So, brand new HDMI port, let's install it onto our customer board. There it goes. Okay. So what we'll do is just hold it in place. Add some flux. And solder it down. So same idea here. We want a tall pillow of solder. And then we're gonna use some heat. to run our jumpers. So for these two, we're gonna go to um, this side, these components. Expose here. So tin the pads. And we're gonna connect our jumper wire.
All right, all our jumpers are done. Clean it off with our brush. I was gonna say it looks good. I mean, it doesn't necessarily look good, but it looks good in the sense that it should work. All right, got all the parts. Put the heat sink back on. So as you can see here, we do have image, we have sound coming from the Series S that had the HDMI port ripped out of it, along with almost all of the traces. We repaired a total of 14 traces. Um, what we'll do next is clean off the flux residue, add some UV mask, and then using UV light, cure it. That will solidify the traces and keep them solid so they don't move or break. And that'll be that. This job is done. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.